Hello YouTube, we're going to be doing three practice double integral problems. Check out this one, I'd suggest pausing the video before um, I reveal the steps to solving or evaluating. So notice how we have dx dy, so we're going to evaluate from the inside out. Um, so um, evaluating this antiderivative um, with respect to x first, um, you'd get 3y squared e to the xy. And to check your work on that, you would simply take the derivative of that and see if you get what you have up top there and you evaluate it from 0 to 1. Then you evaluate it from 0 to 1 and then you have those values. Remember you plug them in for x and using the fundamental theorem of calculus you get those. And then you anti-differentiate with respect to y this time. Do the same thing um, and you should get e to the y cubed minus y cubed. Evaluate from 0 to 1 and you should get e minus 2. Moving on to this problem here. Um, it looks like we have a paraboloid bounded by a triangle, judging by the uh, double integral here. And we're doing it with respect to y, and for some reason it's not appearing. Okay. Okay, try it again. So, simply take the antiderivative with respect to y, so you treat x as a constant. So, the, if, it, if x squared were stating the number 3, the antiderivative of 3 would be 3y with respect to y. Um, and then you take the antiderivative of y squared, you get y cubed over 3, evaluated at the points 0, or from 0 to 1 minus x. Um, you plug 1 minus x in everywhere you see a y, and then you simplify that, and then you can evaluate this integral more easily. Um, and then you simply take the antiderivative. Now, you might be wondering at the end here, it says 1 minus x cubed over 3. Um, when you take the antiderivative of that, you make sure you also take the um, antiderivative of what's on the inside, so that negative does come out um, as well. Um, so that's why it's a minus sign there, because 1 minus x and the minus comes out. So uh, then we have um, evaluated from 0 to 1, and you plug those numbers in, you get that, and then you should get negative, or excuse me, positive 1 sixth. Um, now we'll do another one. Instead of using x and y, we're going to be using different variables because um, you know, mathematicians define their coordinate system. It doesn't have to be x and y. It could be their own plane. And so, for example, if we have an s and t plane. Just think of s as your x and t as your y if you want to make it simple. Um, and you can look at that. So this would technically be like a dx, no, xy. So this would be a dy dx problem. Um, so you evaluate that integral. With respect to t, and you get 4t squared, and you evaluate it from t equals 0 to t equals um, 1 minus s squared. Take the square root of all that. And then, once you evaluate that, you plug those numbers in, uh, distribute, um, and then you can make the antiderivative for the second part much easier. Do the same thing. Take the antiderivative with respect to s now, um, and then you evaluate it there, and you should get 2 um, two thirds, which I believe is 8 over yeah, eight-thirds. Um, so that's your answer there. That'll pretty much be it. Um, hope these three practice problems were helpful.